Mold bases, cavities, and cores are manufactured using a variety of methods, including casting, milling, turning, grinding, electrical discharge machining, and others. All plastic materials have their own shrink factor, meaning they shrink at a certain rate as they cool and solidify. Depending on the type of material to be injection molded, mold makers must take its shrink factor into consideration when producing the cavity set. For example, if a material having a shrink factor of one hundredth of an inch is used to mold a part whose finished size is six inches in length, a total of six hundredths of an inch needs to be added to the mold design to compensate for shrinkage. Additionally, draft angles, or tapers, are machined into the side walls of the cavity set to ease in the removal of the molded plastic parts from the mold. These draft angles typically range from one to two degrees per side. Once manufactured, mold cavities and cores are generally heat treated to protect them from the harsh injection molding environment. In addition, the cavity and core surfaces are often coated or plated with materials such as nickel or hard chrome to help resist wear, corrosion, and to aid in part release. The interfacing plane between the A and B halves of the mold is known as the primary parting line. Depending on the complexity of the molded part, there may be more than one parting line. The alignment of mold halves is accomplished using leader pins and bushings. 